So I came in from work today. All right. Decided I wanted to do the waterproofing on my top before the guys come tomorrow and do the um the tiles. So you gotta leave this now. Let it sit and dry. I gave it like two coats. So it'd be nice. This dries pretty fast and it gives you a rubber, rubbery texture when it's dry. It's pretty cool. Uh, sealed everything in. So yeah. I'm gonna show you more stages of my project as we go along. Everything is coming together wonderfully. Um, they did the plumbing today on my toilet. This is a sunny flow. This is a sunny flow macerating toilet. Because I'm renovating the basement. The sewer pump, the sewer pipe is above the basement level. So you have to push the waste up instead of what everybody else is mostly used to from being up above the waist going down with gravity it's totally different so i have to push the waist up into that pipe that goes directly to the street so it's a pretty big project we had to bore the concrete for the um the plumbing for this for the tub and this tank right here it powers the face basin, the toilet. There's another um yeah you can see that. I'm gonna make another hole right there and this connects to the toilet and this also connects to the bathtub. So all three of those items the waste is going directly. See I already marked the spot. That's where the hose is gonna come for the toilet face basin right here and the, the tub everything is going to go in that macerating um machine and it's going to chop everything up and set it up sounds kind of gross but it is what it is yeah last night i did most of the taping in here all i gotta do is come back oh uh, this outlet it's very bad so i had to fix that looks great now but looks better when it's sanded yeah so the whole bathroom is already taped ready to be coated put on the molding for the door the keyhole a little stuff like that and then around here they did my storage for my tools back here. They also have to make a suffix around, that's the waste pipe right there. This is a meter they don't use anymore, that's ancient. They read, Con Edison read, read these things from the front of the house now. So yeah, this is my little meter box. Gotta finish, wire it up, but it works for the most part, but when it's finished, all the wires ain't gonna be sticking out. There's a lid the lid that goes on it um that's the exhaust for the bathroom fan it's it's got to be tied into one of those exhaust pipes that goes outside pretty much everything i'm everything that's being done now is tied in tied in stuff for finishing closing another wall gotta be here with the ceiling just the same as that coming around two more lights and after that that should be it then everything else is left up to me with the taping corner beads and stuff like that painting yeah but pretty proud of myself what I've done and no I didn't do all the work I have a carpenter that does the framing and the sheet wrap I, I do pretty much the framing the sheetrock and the electrical work, I do pretty much everything else. Although from that, 
um, fixtures, taping, fixing the carpenters, imperfections, all the detail work is, I guess that's mine. Yeah, so. Then I'm gonna close. I was gonna make this bathroom a humongous bathroom, but then these pipes is giving me a fight. I didn't want too many box suffix in my bathroom, so it would look weird. I like a clean bathroom like that. No suffix, no pipes running through, nothing. So. And some of them is leaking too. After this project, I have to take that on by having a plumber come here and fixing all the pipes, old pipes. So after all of that, I'm gonna just, the ceiling, I'm just connect it, close back it, close everything off. I have the basement back in one piece until I'm ready to tear this whole side down again next year, sometimes next year get all this wooden shit off my wall and put sheet rock like a regular home <laughs> i guess that's how they used to do it back in the days but yeah that's ancient now give the whole place a facelift but stay tuned to my project man